Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today I am going to be doing another cut crease video. This time it's going to be for a round cut crease. This is part of my I show you series thing that I've decided to start on my channel. I didn't really know what to call it in my last video so I kind of just ignored it. But now that that video's up and I've decided it's called I show you. So welcome to another video for the I Show You series. Yeah. So as I said, today I'm going to be doing a round cut crease. So without without further without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. Okay. So as you can see, I have already done the rest of my makeup and I have not primed my eyes. So first, we're going to do that. I'm going to be using my normal Collection Last Imperfection Concealer just to prime my eyes, and I'll be using my finger just to blend that in because. I can't bother to go in with me a blender. Okay, so now my eyes are primed and ready to go, so let's do this! First, I'm going to be going in with the Zoeva Sweet Glamour Palette. Um, this is just to set that concealer on my eyes. And I'm going to be using the shade fuzzy haze which is this white colour here. So now our eyes are all set we're just going to go in with the same palette again and start to build up our transition and crease colours. So first we're going to be going in with the shade quite realistic which is this pinky peachy sort of tone here. transition shade down so now we're going to move into a different palette and start darkening up that crease. We're going to be going in with the W7 on the rocks palette again I'm absolutely loving this part at the minute can you tell? Okay so the first shade that we're going to be going in with from here is called Bloody Mary and it is this brown one right here. So the next shade we're going to go in with is the shade Caraco, which is this tealy kind of blue shade here. I think it said Caraco. Yeah, this one here. And we're going to be putting this into our crease as well. back in with that same brush that you used with the Bloody Mary and you're just going to blend that together a bit more. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know if I'm liking this but we'll, we'll just continue. We'll just continue. Yeah. I'm going to add some more of that same colour just to darken the actual crease with just a little bit. Okay, so now on to cutting our crease. We are going to be using the Collection Last Infection Concealer, just my normal concealer, which you can use on your eyes as well, obviously. And then just a small concealer brush. As we did in my half cut crease, we're just going to use the concealer and put it on the back of our hands. Just makes it so much easier to work with, in my opinion. If you haven't seen my last video, I will link it down below. So you can check it out. But for this one, instead of going for only halfway along your eye, you are going to go right down to this corner. So I will do the half cut crease and then I will slow it down and do the second half. Okay, so just as we did in the other one, you're just going to start here. And as I also did in my last one and what I always do cut creases, I am going to work a little bit higher than my natural crease. I've got really dead feet, I need to move. I can't feel my feet. Oh man, now I've gone and got all my concealer all over my jumper. It's 
not going right. Okay, so as I was saying, once you have done that half, we are going to then go right around to this part here. So, what I do is I just keep going around. Oh no, I messed up there. That's where we need to end it, so. Okay, so I'm not having a really equal day today, but that is basically the gist of it. Um, so once you have put your concealer, whatever you're using to cut your cut crease, you are then going to make sure that is nice and set. For this, I want to go back into the Sweet Glamour palette, and I am going to be using this green shade here called wish fulfillment i'm just going to use a another flat concealer brush to just press that on to that concealer again remember just to make sure that when you are putting this shadow on top of that concealer you're not blending that line in Okay, so now we have done that, we are going to just define that cut crease a little bit more. For this, I'm going to be using a nail art brush. They are super fine and little and just easier to work with, I find, than eyeshadow brushes sometimes. So again, just going in with that Carico, or however you say it, shade, on this tiny little angled nail art brush. And we are just going to go along that crease line. Kind of draw around it with your colour. Just take little bits at a time. same brush just clean it off or if you've got another nail art brush just something really 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 small that you can really just go in and just blend that color up a little bit without blending where you've put that concealer if that makes sense <laughs> it's much more defined in this eye than this eye. So now let's do this eye the same. Oops. Next we are going to do our brow bone and inner corner because turns out I've been, I've totally like neglected brow bone highlight and inner corner corner highlight the last couple of videos. I never really know why but we're going to do it today. Today. So to highlight our brow bone and inner corner, we are going to be using this shade here called Sugar Rim. I've not actually used this shade before, so let's see. Okay, and for the Laura lashes, we are going to be going in with that Zweeva Sweet Glamour palette again. I'm going with that quite realistic shade. Going in with the On Da Rocks palette. Going in with that Bloody Mary again. And then we're going to go in with that Carico shade again. And we're just going to put that on our very outer corner part of the lower lash line. Okay, and that is the eyeshadow done by our inner corner highlighter. I haven't done that again yet. 
Okay, so even though it doesn't match, we're just going to go in with this sugar rim shade again and just do our inner corner. Okay, so now we've done our eyeshadow, we're just going to go on and do our eyeliner and I'm going to be using the Primark Saints or Sinner eyeliner. This eyeliner is amazing. I can use it just as well as like my Kat Von D. It's got the same type of flexible tip. So let's do our eyeliner. Now we're just going to put on our mascara which I'm going to be using the Rimmel Wonderfully Real Mascara and then I'm going to be putting on my fake lashes which are the Mia lashes in style 12. Okay guys and this is the final look with lashes on as well. I really hope this video helped you do a round cut crease. I, this isn't my best that I've done before, not going to lie. Today's makeup just is not playing game with me today but I do hope this video was useful and again if you haven't seen the last one for the half cut crease make sure you go and check that out the link will be in the description box below and i look forward to doing the next one okay and i'm also once again really sorry for the really terrible lighting as you all know i'm fighting with natural lighting so this is what you got for now i've got so many hairs just doing their own thing they ain't stuck if you do your own cut crease, please tag me if my videos have helped you because I would love to see your creations. And don't forget to subscribe and click the alert icon thing, the little bell, just so you get a notification every single time I do upload. And I will see you next time. Bye.